Hello and welcome back to the channel. We've got some big Wheel of Time news and before I get into it, if you'd like to help the channel, make sure you give this video a like and if you don't want to miss any Wheel of Time news, discussion, or breakdowns, make sure you're subscribed. This episode will remain spoiler free up to a point, but I'll be sure to warn you when I approach anything that falls into book spoiler territory. So let's get into it. First off, the Wheel of Time official Twitter account, yes, I refuse to call it X, has finally woken up and retweeted some pretty big news. The cast members, Yosha Stradowski, Madeline Madden, and showrunner Rafe Judkins will all appear at CCXP, formerly known as Comic-Con Experience, which will be taking place this December in Sao Paulo, which I think backs up what a lot of people are already guessing, that season three could come sooner rather than later. But what's even more exciting is that CCXP has been known to drop trailers and teasers. Last year, they aired the first look at Prime Video's wildly successful Fallout, the trailer for season four of The Boys, House of the Dragon, Halo, Star Trek Discovery, and you get the picture. So if we were to get a first look at the Wheel of Time season three, it wouldn't be out of the ordinary. And Prime Video is confirmed to be having panels on five other series like Reacher and The Invincibles. And in the past, the events were streamed on their YouTube channel, which I will link in the description below. Now, obviously, it's not a confirmation that we will get a trailer or anything like that, but I'm cautiously optimistic that we will get to see something. They are sending cast members to the event and the showrunner Rafe Judkins is a busy guy, so I don't see him going out to promote the show unless he is actually ready to start advertising for season three. And Yosha Stradowski and Madeline Madden are two of the lead actors. So again, I think it's a pretty big deal. So now let's set the speculation aside and talk about what I'm hoping to see. First off, there are some really big names that are rumored to show up next season, like Sheree Akdashlu, who a lot of fans will recognize. She played Christian Avasarala in The Expanse and is rumored to be playing Elida, a member of the Red Aja. I won't spoil why this character is so important, but she has a huge role in the upcoming story. So a confirmation would be incredible. There are also some other really important characters like the brothers of Elaine Tricand, Gawain, and Galad. So far, we don't know who will be playing the roles. Another big character that is likely to show up is Fayil Bashir, a female hunter of the horn. And again, I won't be spoiling why she's important, but she also plays a huge role in major storylines for another lead character. Lastly, New Forsaken. I think the fandom would go feral and I don't really need to explain that anymore. So if we get any major casting announcements, I would be absolutely thrilled. Bonus points for any images of these characters in full costume. Now let's get into the really good stuff. Personally, I think a teaser or first look video might be dropped. And in previous interviews, Rafe Judkins said that we should expect the first episode of season three to be absolutely bonkers with a big battle staged for the very beginning of the episode. So I think that would be a really excellent choice to showcase. A lot of action and more of the VFX with characters channeling against one another. It's shocking and it's a pretty good way to show off a fantasy TV show by hitting the audience over the head with a big magic battle. Besides that, I want to make some predictions. I think if we get a teaser, we are going to see a lot of more rain. She's the most recognizable actress and the biggest named star of the series. And if you are familiar with the books, there's a major reason why you would want to put her front and center before we get to season four. 
to put it in a very vague way and cover your ears for 10 seconds if you don't want any clues, but fans have been speculating that the Twisted Stone doorframe event could happen this season, which would mean a lot of screen time for Rosamund Pike and the actress who plays Lanfear, Natasha O'Keefe. You want to give them a good amount of screen time leading up to that. Now I'm going to get into a bit more of the nitty gritty book plots for The Shadow Rising, so you have been warned. The next thing I'm really hoping to see is some more of the locations from the book, namely Ruidion. The Shadow Rising has a lot of elements that lean heavily towards the science fiction genre, and Ruidion is one of them. Getting to see a glance of the city or the passage of time from the past would be another really strong choice to showcase because it makes the show stand out compared to most of the other fantasy television series. It's weird and trippy and visually, it's just one of those locations that I'm dying to see how they create. It's really unlike anything else in the series and one of the most pivotal parts of the early story for Rand Al Thor. The next thing that would be really cool to see is anything that points to what Matt Cawthon's plot might look like this season. In the books, he remains in the waste with Rand and his party, but there have been rumors that the TV show will take him in a different direction. He could be anywhere. I've done a video on this, but fans really want to see him in Sindhal with the Finn, and even if he doesn't end up in the waste with Rand, I think production could manage to still make his encounters with the Finn happen by putting the redstone doors in another location, like the White Tower or the Panarch's Palace. So anything that points to Matt's plotline this season would make fans very happy. The next thing I'd really love seeing is Perrin and any scenes from the Two Rivers. I'd love seeing anything from actual battle, but I would also settle just for getting a visual of the village itself with him in it. I think this season is really important for the character of Perrin coming to grips with the realities of this world, and no matter how much he might like to, you can't really just sit out and not partake in violence when there are agents of the Dark One literally hunting you down. So I'd love to see the more animalistic side of Perrin. Bonus points for any scene of Perrin and Fael because I would die. Lastly, and I think the most obvious choice is a heavy focus on Rand. I don't care if it's him in the Io Waste, doing some sword forms with Lan, or just generally having dialogue with some of the other characters. But I think I'm slightly leaning towards wanting to see him with the Aeol. It's going to be a huge part of his story for the season, so I think it makes the most sense. New environments, new characters, and a lot of tension. And I think when you look at all of the possible outcomes, the biggest question will be how are they going to promote the season when it comes to tone? We know from interviews with Rosamund Pike that she used the word psychedelic, but with all of the Forsaken Free and what we know about the Black Aja and the plot lines in the Two Rivers, it feels like a lot of treachery, battle and action, combined with those trippy sci-fi moments that I love so much. And all in all, that's really what I'm hoping for in the event that we get any major news or teasers from the panel. Hopefully I'm right and we actually get something big. Now I want to ask you guys if you think I'm clowning too hard here and setting my expectations too high. What type of tone do you think would be the best to advertise the new season? And lastly, what is the top thing that you want to see from this panel if you only had one choice? And again, if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on news and coverage, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to boost this video, give it a like or share. That wraps things up and I'll see you back next time.